Today we're taking a look at most of Wave 2 from the Fortnite Legendary Micro Series from Jazzwares. And I'll show you what I mean by that as we take a look at the back of one of the packages. Here you can see the cross sale and I don't have Mission Specialist or Noir. Mission Specialist was on eBay but I missed out on that one. Noir I haven't seen at all so when I find these two figures we will be taking a look much closer at those. One thing to note that out of Wave 2 so far Doggo is the only loop breaker which means this character falls outside of the chapter one season ones through season four that Jazzwares is focusing on. That's what Loop Breaker means. For anyone curious, these have not yet been found in stores. I picked them up off of eBay. So keep your eyes out if you're interested. So now let's open them up and take a closer look. Each figure has 14 points of articulation. The head rotates, the arm at the shoulder rotates around, there's a hinge. There is also a hinge at the elbow, but no rotation, a rotation at the wrist. The waist rotates, and there's a ball joint for the hips. The knees rotate, and that, or hinge, and that's it. That's where you get your 14 points of articulation. So let's go over who do we have here. Well, we have figure number 18, the Green Glow Skull Trooper. Figure number 19, Bright Bomber. And figure number 21, Light Show. Figure number 22, Super Striker. Figure number 23, Wu Kong. Figure number 24, Rust Lord. Figure number 25, Elite Agent. And finally, figure number 27, Doggo. As I mentioned earlier, I have, I'm missing two of them, Mission Specialist and Noir. Let's take a little bit closer look at each of these figures. First, we're taking a look at the Green Glow Skull Trooper, and he comes with a pump shotgun. And I think for the size, he looks pretty good. I don't think the uh, the paint looks too bad on him. Next, we have Bright Bomber, and I believe that I might have the most issues with this figure because the arms come off extremely easy. Uh, you can put them back on, but they just fall off really easy if you're moving them around and hinging them like that way too much. This figure comes with a scoped assault rifle, if I can get it back there. And again, I think the details on this figure look really pretty good. And we'll just leave that arm off because it's going to be a problem. Yep, then <laughs> we'll leave. Oh no, I've done some bad things to Bright Bomber. But like I said, I think this is the most disappointing thing. And I hope this doesn't carry over through all the Bright Bombers released. I hope this is a very isolated incident. Next, we have Light Show, and he comes with, as you can see, the minigun. And one of the problems I have is with this figure is that the minigun can't be held like you're supposed to hold it. There's a hold handle back here and a hold handle up here, but because of the way the arms are articulated, you can't get the arm to rotate to where Light Show could hold it here as well as hold it on top. So you have to choose how do you want him to hold this gun, I and mean, that's... That's really not a bad look, but you're not going to ever get him posed in such a way that looks like makes him look like he's a, uh, you know, hold my hands are too big in in this small lens, but you get the idea. And again, I think the details look actually really pretty good. They're small figures, they're 2.5, and if you can get him to stand with some big weapons, I think they're pretty good. Next, we have Super Striker with a tactical shotgun right there. And again, some of these weapons are a little bit heavy, so you got to balance them just right so they don't like fall forward and fall over. I actually really like this figure. I think uh, based off of the midfield maestro figure that we got in 4-inch form that they have really done well in, well, he's going to fall back this time, but really done well in the design of the legs. I think some of their bearskin legged figures in the 4-inch form kind of look weird when they get to the ankles but i think these ones look really pretty good based on the sculpt and the colors look nice and you know even the face look at his face it it looks really pretty good now let's talk about wukong who comes with a grenade launcher this was one of the figures i was really looking forward to but unfortunately he's got a few small issues as well the first one i noticed is that he doesn't rotate at the waist or twist at the waist and that's possible because there is this piece right here that is built onto it if you can pop these figures apart I'm not sure I haven't tried at least if I have I don't remember 
but if he, this piece wasn't there, this middle section, he might be able to twist at the waist, but as it is, he can't. He's also got these enormous shoulder pads that are softer rubber. You can see how it soft rubber there, and his arms can go up only about that far on both sides, and when you try to rotate, well, he can uh, take his arms out about that far, so he's got limited articulation because of these massive shoulder pads and this waist piece there. Design-wise, uh, I think this may be one of the best figures that they're, they've put out so far in the 2.5-inch Legendary Micro Series line. Uh, he's colorful, he's got a lot of He's got a lot of stuff on him, and yeah, I think he looks really good. So while he may have limited articulation or some hindrances, he does look really good. Now we'll take a look at Rust Lord, who comes with the semi-auto sniper rifle. And there's really not much to say about him. He's pretty straightforward. He bends and, and moves and has no real limited articulation. In fact, he can do the splits quite well. What I will point out is the it's not really clear here without the lights directly on it but the paint for his shin guards this gold really stands out and i think looks really pretty nice on the figure when you've got him otherwise there's really nothing super spectacular he looks like he should and the paint looks pretty good i'm not seeing a ton of sloppiness you'll have to let me know in the comments if you see like sloppy paint because i'm using a special macro camera lens to video these really small figures so I can't see them quite as well as probably what you're seeing through the camera. Now we come to Elite Agent, who comes with a rocket launcher right there. And I've got to be honest and say, I think the best part of this set is the rocket launcher, as opposed to the figure. If you can see, there are some nice face details and nice paintwork on this rocket launcher. I think it looks really good. She's a pretty straightforward gray camoed figure. And like Rust Lord, all the stuff moves in the right spot. She can't do her uh, splits at nearly as well as Rust Lord can. She's got the same problem as every other figure. This could be a two-handed weapon, but because of how the articulation is designed, the arms only come or get about that close together, so you can't really hold two-handed weapons with two hands. So... She's kind of like a zombie elite agent in that pose. But the yeah, the rocket I think looks amazing, and I like the paintwork on it really well. And finally, we get to Doggo, who comes with a drum shotgun. And kind of like the rocket launcher, I think this is a really nice looking paint job on this rocket launcher. Sure, it's all black, and there's a little bit of red right down there, but I think it looks really nice for what it is. This figure is probably the second most uh, one that I was anticipating and looking forward to just because of the interesting colors and the characterization of Doggo. I mean, I'm not a huge Doggo fan in game, but I've really enjoyed the action figures that I've picked up of, of this figure. I think overall these are a fun little action figure. If you don't have a lot of room to display action figures, but you want some representation of your favorite characters, well, these little 2.5 inch figures I think would fit the bill for you. You can have them in a smaller area. If you're getting these for kids or to play with, then you've seen a few of the potential problems like with bright bombers arms falling off maybe wukong actually you know wukong's limited articulation has no bearing probably on play you can see they all stand up really well but these can kind of break down into smaller parts some of these uh, i think it was super striker when i pulled him out of the box his arm also separated and i've had a leg I think I've had a leg fall off on a on an, on an previous one before. And so they can turn into pretty small parts. But if you're a collector of action figures, I think you would actually like these pretty good. As I said earlier, if you don't have a lot of room to display, the detail on these are really nice. They actually really are. They may not be premium, high-level action figures, but I think for what they are, they look really good. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.